Hi, Write Writers. Cruz here. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, we are going to be taking the Oxford Test of English demo or demonstration where we will be writing an essay in 160 words or less, taking a different position than I did in a previous video where I talked about um, the why we should not ban um, foods that are unhealthy for us at um, establishments. And this time I'm going to take the opposite position, which is why we should ban um, the uh, stores from being able to sell food that is bad for you. So in this case, I went ahead and took us right writers to writing section. Again, the main menu looks something like this, and then you would scroll down and click on the writing section. Then I would go ahead and choose a part. And in this case, I'm going to choose part two. And you can see if with the darkened screen, um, just a little bit different than the pink or peach screen that you see here. So with the darker screen, um, again, I took a look at this particular prompt of should shops be allowed to sell food that is bad for you, for your health. And I said that they should be allowed to sell food that is bad for your health in 160 words or less. This time I'm going to write the same essay, but I'm going to take the opposite position because as you can see, right writers, you're given two minutes to make a decision and it also gives you time to read the prompt. So if you did not see the previous video, that is okay. I will go ahead and review the prompt here where we have 25 minutes to write an essay. We have to write it in 100 to 160 words. And basically it says you've been talking about health in your English class. Your teacher has asked you to write an essay. And the title of, your, of the essay is, Should Shops Be Allowed to Sell Food That is Bad for Your Health? And write your essay. So with 45 seconds or 40 seconds remaining, right writers, I'm going to go ahead and click on this prompt. And it asks, do you want to do this question? And I cannot change my question after I choose yes. And then it launches me right into the test and immediately starts my timer. That was me sort of snapping my fingers there that um, were basically like, it's sort of like on your mark, get set, go. <laughs> so let us go, I guess, right into this. And let's talk about why shops should not be allowed to sell uh, food that is bad for us. All I did was I copied the prompt, right, writers? And I want to make sure that I include that in my essay. And again, for me, essays should have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. So even though I only have 160 words, I'm going to make sure that I have an intro, a body, and a conclusion. So should shops be allowed to sell food that is bad for your health? In this case, I'm going to say, um, no. Should shops be allowed to sell food that is bad for your health? And again, this is a persuasive prompt. No. I think that it is important for shops to limit the amount, to limit, um, to sell food that is bad for your health. No, I think it is important for shops to limit or to help consumers from making unhealthy food choices.
Now, I don't want to just launch into should shops be allowed to sell food that is bad for your health, right, writers? I want to make sure that I sort of have a little bit of a hook to um, lure readers in to the essay. Keep in mind, right, writers down here, we can see that I have 30 words. And so if you scroll down your screen, you can see basically how many words you have left of 160 so I want to say something like, because I say, no, I think it is important that it is important for shops to help consumers um, from making unhealthy food choices um, to help consumers to prevent consumers, not to help, <laughs> to prevent consumers from making unhealthy food choices. And I'm thinking of something like, you know, when you have a craving and, um, you know, you're wanting junk food. So I think I'll start with that. Um, let me go to the top here. So I have craving some frozen pizza. Or how about some greasy, greasy potato chips? Craving frozen pizza or greasy potato chips. Is not necessarily. Or maybe I'm changing it, um, right, writers, and saying frozen pizza or greasy potato chips is not necessarily a bad craving. Or maybe craving does not make us a bad person. Craving frozen pizza or greasy potato chips does not make us a bad person. However, when we act on those cravings, However, when we act on those cravings, we end up making
So I'm looking for synonyms for bad because we have bad, bad, and then unhealthy and prevent. So craving frozen pizza or greasy potato chips does not make us a bad person. However, when we act on those cravings, we end up hurting our bodies. If shops were prevented from selling food that is bad for your health, if shops were prevented from selling food that is bad for our health, or that is bad for us, if shops were prevented from selling food that is bad for us, then we as consumers if shops were prevented from selling food that is bad for us, then then we would not be able to, we would not be able to, or not have the ability to make unhealthy food choices. Okay, let's see that, right, writers? I'm at 15 minutes and 28 seconds and 51 words in the essay. Craving frozen pizza or greasy potato chips does not make us a bad person. However, when we act on those cravings, we end up hurting our bodies. If shops were prevented from selling food that is bad for us, then we would not have the ability to make unhealthy food choices. Some may argue Nevertheless, some may argue That economies are built on the idea of supply and demand. Nevertheless, some may argue that shops. are economically built, built upon the idea of supply and demand. Yet, nevertheless, some may argue that shops, so here I am sort of taking the 
um, opposition's position for a moment to then uh, negate it at the back end. So at the beginning, again, I'm looking at it from uh, the opposite you know, position's perspective, and then the goal is then to address it, negate it, and then move on to the conclusion. So 68 words and 12 minutes remaining, right, writers? Craving, uh, let me go back. Nevertheless, some may argue that shops are economically built upon the idea of supply and demand. While I understand that to be true, it is important to realize that rising health care costs economically impact all of us. Or not just one shop, but society as a whole. Therefore, why not address the obesity problem facing many nations? Therefore, why not address the obesity problem facing much of our world. Okay, um, let's take it from the top right, writers. Craving frozen pizza or greasy potato chips does not make us a bad person. However, when we act on those cravings, we end up hurting our bodies. If shops were prevented from selling food that is bad for us, then we would not have the ability to make unhealthy food choices. If shops were prevented from selling food that is bad for us, then we would not have the ability to make unhealthy food choices. I was trying to think, right, writers, if I should say, if shops were prevented from selling food that is bad, that was bad for us. Um, but I'm going to stick with the is for now. Nevertheless, some may argue that shops are economically built upon the idea of supply and demand. While I understand that to be true, it is important to realize that rising health care costs economically impact not just one shop, but society as a whole. Therefore, why not address the obesity problem facing much of our world, but society as a whole? Therefore, why not address the obesity problem facing Or maybe say, but our entire society economically impact not just one shop, but our society. Therefore, why not address the obesity problem facing many of us today? Let me try that again here. I'm just reading for flow, right, writers? While I understand that to be true, it is important to realize that rising health care costs economically impact not just one shop, but our society. Therefore, why not address the obesity problem facing many of us, facing many nations today?
one simple way to do that is to eliminate the culprit. One way to, one simple way to do that is to eliminate the culprit. Junk food. And I'm just going to say, and sugary uh, beverages or, and sugary drinks to one simple way to do that is to eliminate the culprit or the culprits. Junk food and sugary drinks. And with 40 words remaining, right, writers, I've got six minutes. I really want to go ahead and start writing my conclusion. Therefore, why not address the obesity problem facing many nations today? One simple way to do that is to eliminate the culprits, junk food and sugary drinks. Indeed, we may not be able to address natural cravings indeed we may not be able to address natural cravings or unhealthy food for unhealthy foods, natural cravings for unhealthy. Indeed, we may not be able to address natural cravings for unhealthy So thinking of another word for food, right, writers, um, staples or unhealthy um, snacks, or unhealthy, um, I'm, I'm just trying to think of a catchy way here, but I'm running out of time, right, writers? And I'm at 132 words. Indeed, we may not be able to address natural cravings. Um, to address the natural cravings. We have or unhealthy food. I'm just going to go ahead and say it, <laughs> right, writers, rather than thinking about another way of saying unhealthy food and food specifically. Indeed, we may not be able to address the natural cravings we have for unhealthy food. However, we may be able to have an impact on the well-being However, we may be able to have an impact. We may 
However, we may have an impact on the health and well being of consumers. Hence, for well being of consumers. which is why preventing shops from selling it might be a good start. Selling it would be a good start. Okay, now notice, right, writers, when I go over, it still accepts it, even though I only have 160 words. So I've got to eliminate some words here um, in the conclusion. Indeed, we may not be able to address. How about, indeed, we may not address, we may, may not be able to address the natural cravings we have for unhealthy food. However, we may have an impact on the well being of consumers on the well-being of consumers, which is why preventing shops from selling it, um, ooh, address our natural cravings. However, from selling unhealthy food would be a good start. Let me take that part out, right, writers? Okay, indeed, we may not be able to address our natural cravings. However, we may have an impact on the well being of consumers, which is why preventing shops from selling unhealthy food would serve. Ooh, I like that better because serving would serve as a great start. Or let's say as a beneficial start. Okay, um, that looks pretty good, right, Riders? I'm at 157. Now, unfortunately, it's just going to shut me down. <laughs> so, um, you know, I can go ahead and copy and paste this and see if it saves it. And I can put it on a Google Doc so we can just review it. Um, because what happens, right, Riders, is that it really just, um, you know, it just makes everything go away and I can't really stop it from happening because the timer really takes over. And so instead I can go back to the home page and just so you can sort of see it again and we can at least go over it. Um, and I can go ahead and paste what I have. I should have really done that in a previous video, but now that just that idea just sort of came to me. So we've got everything here. Craving frozen pizza or greasy potato chips does not make us a bad person. However, when we act on those cravings, we end up hurting our bodies. If shops were prevented from selling food that is bad for us, then we would not have the ability to make unhealthy food choices. Or I could say if shops were prevented from selling bad food, um, but I kept it, you know, at this point, right, writers, I cannot make any changes. Nevertheless, some may argue that shops are economically built upon the idea of supply and demand. While I understand that to be true, it is important to realize that rising health care costs economically impact not just one shop, but our society. Therefore, why not address the obesity problem facing many nations today? One simple way to do that is to eliminate the culprits, junk food and sugary drinks. Indeed, we may not be able to address our natural cravings. However, we may have an impact on the well-being of consumers, which is why preventing shops from selling unhealthy food would serve as a beneficial start. All right, right, writers, I got to say, I really like the way I wrote this um, essay rather than the one that I wrote in the previous video. So there's something about the flow of this that I really enjoy. I love how... Um, not to belabor the point, but I love how I, you know, followed a lot of my own rules that you hear me talk about in the videos. And that is notice how I mentioned this idea of craving and cravings and that I essentially come back full circle by bringing up the cravings again. 
Um, I ended with this idea of serving because we serve ourselves food. Um, and I like that I went with that. A lot of times we also hear words like beneficial when we're talking about food. So I liked how I did that. I also appreciated how, I, again, I brought up what the opposition would bring up, um, the counter argument. And then I also take that counter argument and negate it um, by focusing on the economic in impact of the rising health care costs. So no doubt, I, I really feel strongly about how I wrote this essay in the sense of that I'm, I'm actually very proud of it. So notice how I use however, and then I have an if then statement right here. Then I use uh, transition words such as nevertheless. Um, I use another sort of cause and effect transition word such as therefore. Um, and then I go with indeed and with however, and really just, as I said, I have a variety of, you know, shorter sentences and longer sentences, and I just appreciate, um, you know, I have to, you know, pat myself on the back for this one, but I really appreciate the way this flows. And I felt like I made a pretty good argument with my intro body and conclusion. So, right, writers, I hope that this activity and watching me, you know, squirm and worry and struggle through the process will ensure your success. Thank you again, subscribers. Um, I'm very grateful and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. All right. Take care, right, writers. Bye bye.